Hello my friends, what's up? The Dutchman Ruben Buis here. Yeah, three hours. Holy hot damn. That, uh, I consider it quite an accomplishment. Nah, I've been to uh, other films that lasted uh, three, hour, three, hours in, uh, three hours in theaters. All the Lord of the Rings uh, movies, I saw them multiple times. And when you're, when you're watching great cinema, uh, time goes by so fast. And I think oh, what this is an entirely different genre than Lord of the Rings, of course. Well, you know, both are based on true stories. Oppenheimer, um, quite a cinematic, uh, quite a cinematic accomplishment. You know, Christopher Nolan has such um, a distinct style. I can remember uh, watching Memento in theaters over 20 years ago. I think that it was his first or second movie. And he makes not your run of the mill uh, flicks. That's one thing that's uh, for sure of course. So most people know the, the Batman uh, trilogy. Inter, uh, interstellar, Inception. Really panache when you're watching this movie. It's so, with the music and the effects, it's so over the top. And it can, it can be a little bit pretentious sometimes, but let's, let's be honest, the man knows uh, what he's doing. And he's certainly one of the most interesting directors working today. Uh, with the movie Oppenheimer, you know, I think that's no exception that another great cinematic ac accomplishment. I knew the story, I know I knew about uh, Oppenheimer, I knew about uh, the Manhattan Project and what happened. Uh, but this movie really goes into uh, the detail about this man's life and his, uh, his but the bond with his family and with his uh, with the memory that he's uh, had such an interesting figure and one of the most important men of the 20th century you can argue you know with the atomic bomb Will things be any different if the Americans did not use it? You can debate for that. You can, you can debate about that subject for hours. This movie doesn't really take a stand towards the right choice or the wrong choice. It's up to your own, uh, up to your own interpretation and your own opinion. Very funny to see. No, funny. It's it's great to see also Robert Downey Jr. in this uh, movie. Before he did, he became a household name playing Iron Man. It was always he was quite an accomplished actor with uh, Chaplin, natural born killers. But you know, he had, yeah, he has a rough past with a lot of uh, a lot of addiction in his life. But he came back with a vengeance, and after Iron Man, you know, he, he, did, he did so many Iron Man movies, of course, so many uh, uh, Marvel movies. But, and I, I, he was great in that. He was a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal actor, phenomenal in all the Marvel movies. But with this playing him, relative bad guy, it's good to see this man is so. And I, well, that, that movie, that, 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 that Tropic Thunder, oh. A lot of people get how versatile an actor Robert Downey Jr. is. And of course, the man himself, Killian Murphy as uh, Oppenheimer. I think we can expect an Oscar nomination going in this man's uh, way. He's lost a lot of weight for this, uh, for this movie. Maybe he's gonna win the Oscar next time. It wouldn't surprise me one bit he really disappears in that in that uh, character and shows uh, his uh, life he, all in all these little quirks but also really demonstrates this man's genius of course 
if you lead a product like the Manhattan Project, you got to be you got to be genius and a little bit insane. I think he he was uh, certainly he was genius and also maybe a little bit uh, off the charts, so to say. Moving to Christopher Nolan, you know the the the, 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 the effects, the uh, the sound. Um, I saw it in IMAX uh, the theaters. Is, oh, it's quite an experience. You know, with the explosions and the building, uh, building of tension when I'm first gonna test uh, the nuclear weapon. Wow. That's really Christopher Nolan's. You know, his, his cinematography is of course really wonderful. It can kind of go for a bit of a pretentious, you see all those little, you know, you see a close-up of it appears to be atoms, you know, crashing into each other and bombastic sound. It come over, can come, uh, it can become a little bit too much sometimes, especially with a three-hour movie. Don't expect too much flashy action scenes. This action scenes is really as... Uh, it's so it's a piece of history also of the character of uh, Oppenheimer in one of the most important eras of human history. So if you're a history buff, it's it's a no-brainer. You got to see this uh, movie reflecting a little bit more uh, action-packed. And no, that's that's not going to be it. But even if you're not into this sort of style of movies, you can fully recommend them just because of the acting and under the visual flair this movie has. Could have tripped a little bit of a fat of uh, the length of the movie. And again, sometimes the pretentiousness of Christopher Nolan can be sometimes can be a little bit irritating, but again, one of the best directors working today. Four and a half stars. It's pretty safe to say. Go check it out. That's the same. That that uh, movie, you know, three hours is receiving such. Uh, it's almost going to be half a billion dollars. I have hope for uh, cinema in the next uh, couple of years. You know, people are still interested in not only in comic book movies but in real good cinema uh, being filmed by one of the best uh, directors working today. It's a good sign. Gives hope. Have you seen a movie? Tell me what you think, Christopher Nolan fan. Tell me, my friends. Tell me all uh, about your experiences with uh, what is your favorite movie. Let me know. You guys, the best. See you soon.